Ready for a no meat, no egg, no dairy, fast, low cost, little energy to make, great tasting meal, then let's make one. Hello, gonna make a great sandwich. This is gonna be fantastic, really, really great. I'm doing my mesquite smoked grilled tofu, which is gonna be the protein which goes on. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, I'm gonna do a teriyaki sweet ginger bake. So I'm baking mushrooms, zucchini, summer squash, and leeks are gonna be baked all at the same time with the tofu in the pan right here and then on the toast is going in I'm going to have on one side of the toast I'm going to have uh, roasted garlic I'm going to mash that up and put that on and then when it comes out I'm going to put some fresh uh, green onions and cilantro on it and avocado and it's going to be just terrific it's going to be a great sandwich I'm going to reserve a little bit of the uh, sauce that I bake with just a tiny bit uh, to spread on the one side of the bread that doesn't have the roasted garlic on it. So, let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is split my tofu in half. So we get one of these pieces on one side of the bread and the other. This right here is about 12 grams of protein. So just in case you wanted to know that. Uh, I'm just gonna set that aside for a second while I get my leeks ready. I'm gonna cut these pretty fine. Four of those. I know it looks small, but when it's broken up, you'll see how that looks. Okay, and then uh, I'm just going to mandolin off some summer squash, which is going to go in here as well. I'm going to put the sauce on the bottom of the pan so everything sort of bakes into it. I'm going to kind of flop it around a little bit, and I'll, and I'll put when I put these in, I put them in the sauce, and then I flip them over again so they get both sides, which is really nice. And then a little zucchini. That's it. It's far down as well. I'm willing to take it, and that's plenty good. And then we'll do some mushrooms. I don't do those on the mandolin. I just slice those up. I could, but they're a little bit different texture, and sometimes they have a tendency to mash a little bit. And I'm just using my little cheapy plastic mandolin anyway. Okay. So this all goes in here. Oops, let's uh, get the sauce on. Always best to shake these up a little bit. So I'm just gonna put some in the middle. I'm gonna put like a, this is, a lot of it's gonna stay in the pan here. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon and a tablespoon. And, and a lot of it is just going to end up, let's shake up this. I like this teriyaki because it's not sweet at all. It's really a great teriyaki when you're mixing it with like a sweet ginger or sweet chili sauce, which I do a lot of times. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with this. Eh, roughly about a tablespoon. So, and again, most of that's just gonna be in the bottom of the pan anyway. It's not all gonna be laying on that. I'm just gonna make a little bit in a minute after I get this into the toaster oven. And I'll just make a little bit in this just for that spread on uh, one side of this bread. So, let's get this mushed around in here real good and spread it. As you can see, I'm just spreading it on the aluminum foil all over it, just get it like that. Because once this gets hot and flowing around everything, it'll, it'll just get on everything. And again, it's going to be mostly flavor because it'll just be sitting on the... First thing I'm going to do is just throw all the veggies and stuff in here. And I'm going to kind of push them around a little bit and just get them making sure... And the leeks, all this... Break up the leeks here a little bit. That's good. These are little rings from cutting it. I like these cooked into the stuff that's here. So I'm just gonna get my hands in dirty here, or whatever you wanna call it, and make sure this stuff gets all over all of the veggies and everything, because this will just be fantastic. Ah, so it's gonna be a great flavor. Okay, so that's all mashed around there. We're just gonna let them bake over here, along with the uh, tofu, for roughly about 10 minutes in the oven. So you can see I just piled them over there. Now what I do with this is I take it, get it on there and there, so it's on both sides. You don't want a lot of this because it just gets overpowering, but you want that essence of it. It's just going to be beautiful. Now I'll put the grilled side down because that's already been cooked more and put the other side up. 
And then let me get this stuff off my hands. Oops, we've got a couple of these little extra summer squashes there. Put them in there. We'll see how far this cooks down. I may not put all that on the sandwich, but they were end pieces that I already had and I stuck them on there. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna switch this around this way and this way and give my veggies a little bit more room here on the tray, which is easy enough to do. They'll cook better that way and faster. There we go, beautiful, look at that. Ah, can you see that? So I got my tofu over here. I got my sliced up veggies over here with the mushrooms and all that good stuff. And this is just gonna be fantastic. And you know something? Ah, if you've watched my other videos, you know me. My favorite pal is granulated garlic. So I just, a uh, tiny bit, not a lot. I don't want it overpowering. Remember, I'm putting roasted garlic on as well. So, all right, let's get this in the toaster oven. I can put this in now and get this started. I'm gonna shove it all the way to the back so there's room in the front for my toast. And now I'm just gonna mash up some roasted garlic. I love roasted garlic, that's gonna be great. And then spread that on one side of the bread. What I love about roasted garlic, once it gets roasted in this, when it gets to this point in this state, you can just mash it and it's really great. And you really, you can do that with the raw stuff too, with a little garlic masher and stuff, but it, something happens to garlic when you roast it. It just gets to be amazing, this great flavor that comes out of it. So I'm just gonna spread it on one side and this is just gonna bake and toast as well. So you'll be toasted on one side and this stuff will be on the other. And you don't have to do this real, like super even, it's not gonna matter. Cause you're gonna be munching on this sandwich. It's gonna be so many mouthfuls of incredible flavors. They're just gonna knock your socks off. Okay, so you see what I did there? So when this, I'll have a little bit of the sauce for this side when it comes out. I'm not gonna worry about this side cause I'm gonna lay the avocado on here anyway. And that'll all kind of come together and the cilantro will go on afterward along with the green onions and everything else. So I'm gonna put this in the toaster. And we're gonna leave that go and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is, it's a bit hot. <laughs> I'm not sure what it looks like. Oh yes, look at that, fantastic. Is that beautiful, is that beautiful? That's ready to go on the sandwich. Okay, let's get this off of here. Here's our bread back. You can see the beautiful roasted garlic on there, how nice that is. I've got my little bit of sauce already made. I did that at the break. And I'm just gonna just lightly, this is just a really, just sort of moisten this side up, uh, which is nice, because remember, my bread's toasted. So this will just come into a little bite. It's, it was about a teaspoon total, about a half a teaspoon of each of the ginger and the uh, teriyaki. And again, the, neither one are really sweet. The ginger one is sweeter, but you know, again, you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. That's just something I'm doing. Okay, beautiful tofu. Let's put that right on top of that. Look at that, oh, great. And then my veggies. Well, let's... Uh, Let's do this. We're gonna pile the veggies on there. Let's get the uh, avocado we want on here. Uh, okay, oops. This one be supposed to be a little bit cleaner coming off of there. Okay. And I'm not gonna worry about this too much because look doesn't matter. This is not being served open. So I'm just gonna cut some nice thin slices to make sure I cover all of this side of the bread, ah, beautiful, I can get two more out of here, that's just a nice layer of avocado, let's get it all on there, ah, one piece there with open spot is, oh, that all filled out perfectly, look at that, ah, that's just great, right. okay, can you see that, beautiful, got the avocado on there, basil's all, I mean, uh, Cilantro's all chopped up already. I do put basil on this from time to time as well. It's, it's, a, it's a great sandwich with some uh, basil, but today I'm, today I'm not doing it. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, we're gonna chop up some green onions. Here I do, I do them as thin as I can do them. 
just because I don't want a lot of like big bites of green onions. They can be a little bit strong. Uh, and again, it's all up to you. Put on what you want. I just put just enough on to give myself that nice oniony flavor in there, which is not like white onions. I'm not going to get into white onions. Get myself into trouble doing that. Okay, now let's just take our foil out of here. It'll be easier to handle. Okay, and we're going to get this stuff out of here, and we're going to start just piling it right on top. Look at that. Oh, oh. Stick it on this side, because I think it'll be easier when I flop it over. Actually, I'm going to put some on both sides. I'm being a glutton because I'm putting it all on here. Probably was more than I needed, <laughs> but I don't care. Oh, I, I, you just, standing over this and smelling it, my mouth is watering. I'm starving. Oh, this is going to be tonight's dinner. I'm actually going to put some, uh, don't tell anybody this, but potato chips with it my favorite ones that are kettle cooked in olive oil. So good. I don't eat them all the time. So, but, so just take a look at that before it goes together. That's the two sides. Let me make sure I can hold that down. There you go. I don't want to slide down, but really is just beautiful. Ah, this is just going to taste just amazing. And a quick snap up there. Make sure nothing jumps out. And if it does, I'm going to eat anyway. I'm going to give it a bit of a mash. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to eat it. Now the beauty is, where I just cut it in half was right between the two slices of tofu. My smoked, oops, let me get through there. It's going to be a little messy, but don't worry about that. You're not going to care anyway. Okay. I'm just going to slide it open here a little bit so you can get a shot of it. There it is. It's beautiful, just beautiful. I'm going to take a still of it the minute I shut off the camera, and I'll post that up in the video. You'll see it. There it is. Teriyaki smoked, mesquite smoked tofu teriyaki veggie sandwich. Fantastic. You're going to love it. I'm Foodmaker V, and remember, the best investment you can ever make is an investment in your health. I'll see you next time.